ain't no stopping us. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction. And today I want to go over with you guys another common muscle imbalance that occurs in many of us. And this has to do with your wrist extensor muscles, your forearm extensor muscles, and your forearm flexor muscles right here. So pretty much your extensor muscles right here, they do this action right here. And your flexor muscles do this action right here. So what many of our actions throughout the day though, although your wrist flexor muscles are stronger than your extensor muscles naturally, many of our activities throughout the day are flexion based. Like when you're holding something, you're holding a bag or whatever, using your flexor muscles to hold that bag. When you're holding a dumbbell, using your flexor muscles. When you are, whenever you're typing on a keyboard, using your flexor muscles. And you're not using your extensor muscles as much. And, and so this combined with your flexor muscles being naturally stronger, this can lead to a great muscle imbalance between your flexors and your extensors. So you wanna correct this, otherwise it can cause issues like tendonitis, it could cause carpal tunnel syndrome, it can cause other issues, so you don't want this. So what are some things you could do? Well, the first thing you could do is to stretch your flexor muscles. How do you do that? Well, pretty much you turn your palm up like that, so supinate it up, and then you're going to take your other hand like this, put it on your palm like that, put it on your hand, straighten your elbow and hold it, your hand like that, and then just hold that for say 30 seconds, do it twice on each side, that's gonna help to stretch your flexor muscles right here. So do this. You can do this up against the wall too, it shouldn't be painful. If it is, don't do it. So do that. And then next you can strengthen your extensor muscles. So how do you do that? Well, one thing you could do is you could put your forearm on a bench, have a light dumbbell, or whatever you can handle, and then just go up like that. So support your arm, and then go up and down like that with a dumbbell. Do say three sets of 15 or so. And then another thing you could do would be to take a rubber band around your fingers like that, and then just extend like that, say three sets of 15. So by doing these things, you are stretching your flexor muscles and strengthening your extensor muscles. So that's gonna help to correct this muscle balance that many of us develop, and this can cause issues over time. So hopefully this information helps you out. I think it will. This has been Jeff Once More, orienting your fitness in the right direction. And if you like the video, thumb it up, comment, subscribe. If you have any other ideas, let me know. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.